I just can't believe this actually happened. I mean, I know people do this, and I know it happened before in other schools. But I didn't expect it to ever happen in our school. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hello, I'm LRJ. I told you guys that America, we're slipping. Things in this country are happening. And if we don't correct them now, it will be out of control. The first day of school, there was a shooting. Joining me now, 10th uh, grader Justin Spencer. Justin, you were inside. First off, uh, you were not in the cafeteria at the time of the shooting. No, I was right next. I was right next to it, around the corner. What did you hear, and then what did you see? It sounded like a fight against the lockers and banging, and then um, I saw people running and screaming, and then teachers told everyone to stay calm, and it was crazy. Uh, and so then, so the teachers told everyone to stay calm. At what point did you realize that this was more than a fight? When um, all the teachers started running to the classrooms and locking the doors, and then on the uh, speakers we heard the teacher saying the lockdown is not a, it's not a drill, that it's just serious, and we never want to stay, uh, stay in the classrooms quietly. Uh, at what point uh, uh, kids uh, uh, automatically uh, uh, begin talking at that point uh, and w at what point did you realize that this was a shooting and what were kids saying inside? Well then it all started that my friends got text messages from their friends and then it was on I was on Twitter, people run out the cafeteria and then they said that was a fight, uh, uh, it was a shooting and then everyone started, everyone was just started getting, um, running, a cr running and everything. It was, yeah. Uh, you uh, obviously, uh, the, at some point, uh, you were in lockdown for quite a while. Wh at what point did they release you from lockdown, and what did they say to you at that point? It felt like um, about an hour or so that they said that they, uh, the SWAT team came in, and then they approached us outside, and then they told us that we are going to walk down the street to the other schools. Uh, what do you make of this? First day of school, uh, what's in your heart right now, knowing that at least one of your apparently classmates has been injured? What's what's in your heart on your first day of school? Dude, I just can't believe this actually happened. I mean, I know people do this, and I know it happened before in other schools, but I didn't expect it to ever happen in our school. It was just crazy, and I feel bad for, like, the freshmen because it's their first day of school, and it, it's a bad experience. And then for the people in the cafeteria, it was just, just surprising how that they, most of them made out alive, and I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, uh, good words. And that is the sentiment from a lot of folks here. They are just glad that this is uh, not a lot worse than many fear it could have been had this continued. Uh, we are talking to a lot of parents here, a lot of tears from parents who are just upset that this could happen here at their child's school, even though many of them know that their child is okay. Many of them have now been reunited with their children. Uh, parents here very upset and uh, really uh, heartbroken here. A lot of parents still waiting for their kids, trying to find their kids in the parking lot. Uh, of course, text message and cell phones have made communication uh, a lot easier for a lot of these uh, uh, for a lot of these kids who were communicating with their parents as soon as they were uh, found out that they were on lockdown and that there had been a situation inside the school. Uh, we are told that this, uh, by many of the, the kids who are inside, saying that this uh, shooter apparently had some sort of a sh uh, it's some sort of a shotgun, but we know that uh, this has been a traumatic day here at Perry Hall. Back to you. Of course, school policy would be for most of those students to have their cell phones in their locker and turned off during the school day, which may complicate things. But, but Really? The cell phones should be in their lockers. Thank God they was not in their lockers. But once again, you know, this just me. I could be wrong. Comment down below and let me know. Gonna sound like he was a little bit upset because they thought they had a thug to do an interview. Um, school policies, all cell phones uh, should be in lockers. Uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> uh, niggas belong in prison. Rate, Rest your comment, time. and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. Guess what? I love you all. Peace.